Do you want to know what to feed your horse to help make sure you're doing the very best thing that you can to help keep their gut healthy? Hi, I'm Shannon Goblin from Ag Solutions and in today's video I'm going to be talking about what you can do to help keep your horse's hind gut healthy. Horses have a digestive tract that has been designed for eating high fibre forages over long periods of the day. But horses don't have the necessary enzymes to digest fibre all by themselves, so they rely on the trillions of bacteria living in the hindgut to ferment the fibre and produce what we call volatile fatty acids, which the horse then uses to meet a large portion of its daily calorie requirements. Keeping this in mind, Whenever we feed our horses, we need to consider whether the food that we're giving them is beneficial to the gut microbes or whether it could have a negative effect. There are three major groups of bacteria living in the hindgut and these are comprised of the fibre fermenters which love eating forage and these are the good guys that we want lots of in the horse's gut. Then there are the starch and the sugar fermenters that absolutely love it when lots of undigested starch from grains and fermentable sugars from sugar rich forages reaches the hindgut where they can multiply rapidly. Now please keep in mind that we don't want too many of these guys as they produce lactic acid that the horse can't use and it can make it very sick. Lastly, there are the lactate utilising bacteria who actually help out the horse as their favourite food is the lactic acid produced by the starch and the sugar fermenters. Now think of these guys as being a bit like security staff that help keep the starch and sugar guys under control. However, just like in a pub brawl, the security staff can be quickly caught off guard or outnumbered, so their defence is not always guaranteed. I want you to remember that balance is key for these bacteria populations and they need time to adjust to any changes in food sources because if this balance is thrown off kilter then issues such as laminitis, hindgut acidosis, colic, endotoxemia, vitamin deficiencies, behavioural changes, poor feed efficiency, weak hooves, loss of appetite and weight loss may occur. So what can we do to help keep the horse's gut microbiome healthy? Well the number one thing to focus on is a horse's diet needs to contain lots of fibre. It has been established that a horse needs an absolute bare minimum of 1.5% of its body weight each day in forage just to maintain gut health. So a great way to keep the hind gut healthy is to provide unlimited access to low sugar, pasture and hay. Remember, lots of sugars in the diet can lead to rapidly increasing populations of sugar and starch fermenting bacteria and this is what we want to avoid happening. So if your horses are grazing improved pastures such as ryegrass or if they have any metabolic issues like laminitis, then it's best to only let them graze in the early hours of the morning if they're grazing these very rich pastures and bring them off pasture by two hours after sunrise. If horses are removed from pasture, provide them with low non-structural carbohydrate grassy hay in a slow feeder as we need to avoid their stomach being empty for long periods of time. Sometimes horses do need more calories than what they can get from forage alone. If you want to increase the calorie content of a diet, first try adding high fibre based low starch feeds where possible. Adding oil is also a great way to increase calorie content but once again, you need to consider the gut bacteria and gradually increase levels over time so microbes have time to adjust to a high fat diet. If you are going to give your horse a feed that contains grain, here are a few things to consider to help keep the hindgut healthy and limit the explosion of numbers of sugar and starch fermenting bacteria. Number one, only feed grain that has been cooked properly and preferably by the extrusion method. When raw grains are fed to horses, only a very small portion, approximately less than 30% of the starch, is digested in the small intestine, which means the rest of the starch passes through to the hindgut. If a grain such as corn has been processed by the extrusion method, the digestibility in the small intestine increases to around 73%. Number two, 
Introduce grain into the diet slowly and gradually build up to the quantity that you want to feed over a couple of weeks. Number three, only feed small amounts of grain at a time with a maximum of two kilos being fed in any one meal and preferably no more than four kilos of grain a day. Now that we've covered grain, other strategies to help the health of the hindgut is to make sure that your horse always has access to fresh, clean drinking water. Also, feeding psyllium husk on a regular basis can help remove sand and dirt from the hindgut and help prevent sand colic issues. The recommended rate is around 15 grams of psyllium husk per 100 kilos of body weight for four days of each month. I also like to include a prebiotic, which is essentially food for the gut bacteria into the diet, as this may help feed digestibility and efficiency by promoting the health and growth of beneficial gut microbes. In addition to vitamins and minerals, the Megamin Equine Enhancer also contains a prebiotic to aid the gut health of the horse. If you would like to find out more about how Ag Solutions can help you with your equine nutrition questions, visit our website agsolutions.com.au, follow us on Facebook, and please don't forget to ask for Megamin Equine Supplements from your preferred store. Megamin Equine Supplements, you will see the difference.